Hey, I'm at my day job today, and I figured I'd share a pretty cool tip or trick with you guys. Um... I'm working on a 77 Dodge Ram Charger that is a really cool project. It's actually on an 05 Dodge 2500 chassis. Um, it's all sort of integrated roll cage, rock sliders. The body is welded to the frame. And I am doing the chassis work right now. I just finished the chassis work and I painted the chassis all this nice satin black. Um, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing so that I can go back and undercoat the body and have everything look good and not get a ton of overspray. You can see it right behind me. It's not really a big secret. It's tinfoil. So this is one of my favorite tricks to do when you're doing a roll cage also. Um, a lot of times you build a cage in your Jeep or in your truck and you paint the roll cage and you can't figure out how to like not overspray the rest of the cab when you do so. So this is one of the tricks you can do, whether it is putting tin foil on the A pillars of your truck or on the body of the truck um, so that you can paint your roll cage and not get the overspray on the truck itself, or paint the cage and get your overspray everywhere, then go back and you wrap the roll cage in tin foil, and then you can go back and clean up the paint on the truck. So that's usually my technique. Like if you do a cage in your white truck, you paint the cage black, get black overspray and everything, and then you go back, wrap the cage in tin foil, and respray the white. Um, that's sort of the cleanest way to do it. It's sort of a lot of work, but it goes a lot faster than if you were trying to do this using masking paper and tape. The tin foil kind of holds its shape, stays put, and it gets around some of these really hard to reach spots, like where the cage is going through the floor. Um, some of these I use tape as well, but it gets you really close. You can kind of see here on the rock slider to the body, to the cage tie-in, how it all works. Um, anyways, little tip and trick this is a fun one. I'm going to go ahead and undercut the bottom side of this, and I will unwrap it and show you how it all turned out. I'm totally overdoing it now. I'm actually taping off the firewall properly and everything. So this like quick little tips and tricks section just snowballed into a whole how not to overspray stuff all over your awesome truck. This little tech tip is spiraling out of control. I'm like, Seriously, I'm like seven hours into this, like wrapping the frame and masking all this off. But it's getting undercoated. It's gonna be under there for the rest of this truck's life. It's gotta look good. My boss is gonna kill me, but whatever. Mask, 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 tape, tin foil, do it all. Do it right. I wanted to give you a heads up on what I'm using here for undercoating. This is actually a Duplicolor truck bed coating. It comes in a one quart or a gallon jug. Um, I also got some rattle cans of that. The rattle can stuff does not lay out as nice as this stuff in the quartz do, so that's why I'm shooting it out of this. This is just an old undercoating gun that I think I got at Harbor Freight probably 20 years ago. Um, I'm thinning it with a little bit of Nampa thinner and what happened was the first spray I did of this stuff, it just went on a little too kind of like spider webby and clumpy. So I'm thinning it just a little bit. So I'll thin it in this cup and then end up just spraying it by holding the gun into this cup and hoping for the best. All right, here's the setup. Little old undercutting gun I've had forever. I think I got that at Harbor Freight in the 90s. 
and some of the truck bed liner in a cup with a little bit of thinner in it. See how messy it is that's everywhere so the better you do on your masking and tin foil job and paper job and tape the better it will be in the long run done with this project it spiraled out of control it was supposed to be about how to tin foil your frame and I ended up looking like some sort of teen wolf middle-aged wolf anyways that's it undercoated that thing I'm gonna go and wrap it and I'll show you a picture of how it all looks hopefully it's good because it was a lot of work I've got my gun cleaned up I've got everything sprayed on the ram charger and it looks amazing Hard to tell because obviously everything is black and it's all in the shadows, but whatever. Um, I did a pretty good job of getting in here and spraying all of it. Uh, used about two and a half quarts total on the underside of this thing. So I think it's time to start unwrapping it and seeing if my whole tips and tricks on how to stop overspray worked. I think it should have. Uh, this is like the payoff after many hours is usually pretty good. This is what we were going for. Still nice and shiny on the chassis, and over here has the texture to it. I think that was a win. Good. This is some of my favorite parts is like how this all came together. We've got a rock slider that's welded to a section of stock sheet metal that's welded to a section of flat sheet metal and the undercoating or the bed liner just sort of ties all that stuff together. Then you throw in some nice clean tube work. Boom! There you go rock crawling smashing in and stuff. 